You know, Ron Sterling's death in 1975, he left billions of people across the, the world to mourn. But <clears throat> one of his biggest contributions to mass entertainment was his voice. And uh, it was featured in something that uh, we didn't expect at the time called Fantasy Park. Now, uh, according to several sources, Fantasy Park was the brainchild of a radio uh, station company all the way down in the southern U.S. Now, Sterling's final radio performance was, again, very unusual. Fantasy Park was a syndicated 48-hour long rock concert aired by nearly 200 stations in 74 and 75. Uh, the program, written and produced by McClendon National Productions director Steve Blackson, featured performances by dozens of rock stars of the day and even reunited the Beatles. It was also completely imaginary, as KNUS program director Bo Weaver put it, a theater of mine for the 1970s. The concert used uh, live record albums, many recorded again uh, at site, plus crowd noise interviews, scheduled updates by host Fred Kennedy, and other sound effects. Stations that aired the special were reportedly inundated by callers demanding to know how to get to the non-existent concert. Canadian U.S. General Manager Bart McClendon recruited Serling, uh, who was his former teacher, to record the whole segments, bumpers, custom promos, and television spots. Now, Serling wrote the disclaimers, which aired each hour, saying, Hello, this is Rod Serling, and welcome back to Fantasy Park. The crowds here today are unreal. This is Fantasy Park. The greatest live concert never held. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to go. The voice of Rod Serling from beyond promoting an imaginary concert of the greatest bands of all time using existing uh, technology. Quite a, quite a fight. So ladies and gentlemen, so latest on our Rod Serling tidbits. If you like what you're doing here, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, the Twilight Zone of the Mind, Twilight Zone of the Brain can also lead to the Twilight Zone of celebratory things. If you can't be there or make it happen, you can just think it. Like, half the stuff that Rod Serling did that was ever successful were just pen to paper or of the mind. Fantasy Park indeed. Thanks for listening. Bye.